police investigation hasn't turned up anyone who saw Ione Sykos murdered, no one who even heard her being attacked. She was killed early Saturday morning in the backyard of a neighbor's house. One of the real challenging things about this case, you had a horrific crime, you had no eyewitnesses, and you had no motive. The crucial evidence is numerous bite marks found on the body of the victim. Robert Lee Stinson was soft-spoken and lived in the neighborhood. The forensic odontologist told the detectives, you are looking for a guy with an abnormality in one of his upper teeth. Police spoke with him. He was very noticeably missing a front tooth. And therefore, the bite had to be inflicted by a dentition identical to that of Mr. Stenson. You have this dentist who has no reason to lie, who comes in and tells you this is rock-solid science. It's really quite astonishing. It's the one thing that gets me truly agitated. It's because there's just no science to support it. I mean, all I can rule on is what I had in front of me. The expert testimony made a lot of sense at the time. We know how prejudicial scientific evidence is. It's extremely persuasive. That's why there are so many wrongful convictions associated with it, because it's persuasive enough to convict the innocent.